Uh, in this video, I will provide a brief explanation of the concept of convolution within the context of probability. Uh, convolution is a mathematical operation that combines two probability distributions to produce uh, a new distribution that represents the combined effect. Uh, throughout this video, I will provide further examples and insights to help you gain a better understanding of the concept of convolution in the context of uh, probability. Uh, in the fo uh, following examples, uh, we will explore different convolution scenarios using dice and further uh, illustrate the concept and its implications. Let's start by reminding few basics. Uh, for Uh, a first six-sided die, also known as a standard die, is a cube-shaped object used in a games and in games and probability experiments. It's uh, typically marked with dots or numbers from one to six, with each face having a distinct value. A third die is considered unbiased, meaning that each face has an equal probability of landing face up when rolled. This means that when rolling a first six-sided die, the probability of getting any particular number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 is 1 over 6. Uh, I define now the non-uniform or non-standard die, which is a type of dice that not all sides have an equal uh, chance of being rolled. Non-uniform dice can have various configurations and are often used in specific games or probability experiments where different probabilities are desired. Uh, here you can see, uh, for example, a table, a table containing probability of each site is not uniformly distributed here. Now we roll two fair six-sided dice, and the main aim is to determine the probability of obtaining a specific outcome, say, if the sum of the outcomes of the two dice becomes 3. Uh, to determine such probability, we can consider all the possible combination, combinations that can occur when rolling two dice, each die has six possible outcomes. Number one to six. Uh, so the total number of outcomes for rolling two dice is six multiplied by six, which is which equals 36 as shown in this table. Uh, pairs in this table uh, contain the number of outcome, the number of outcomes of each dice. 1, 2 shows that the first and the second dice got 1 and 2. Uh, this table represents the sum of the outcomes when rolling two fair six-sided dice. based on the provided pairs of outcomes. For example, 1,1 and 1,2 stands for 
two and three respectively. In this table. Now let's consider some specific scenarios. Uh, finding the probability of rolling a sum of three, for example, uh, we need to count the number of favorable outcomes, which is two. The combinations are uh, one plus two and two plus one. The probability of rolling a sum of three is then two favorable outcomes out of 36. And it become, which simplifies to two divided by 36 as shown in this table. As second example, find the probability of rolling a sum of seven. Uh, here we need to count the number of favorable outcomes, which is six. The combinations are uh, one plus six, two plus five, three plus four, four plus three, five plus two, and six plus one. Uh, the probability of rolling a sum of seven is then six favorable outcomes out of 36 possible outcomes, which simplifies to three uh, to six divided by 36. Now we consider two non a standard dice and would like to find the probability of rolling a sum of three. Here we again count the number of favorable outcomes which is two. The combinations are one plus two and two plus one. Uh, and the probability of rolling a sum of two, uh, uh, sum of three is then given as this relation uh, using probability tables uh, for each dice. For example, a probability of combination uh, one for the first die and two for the second die becomes 0.2 multiplied 0.15. Uh, for the second example, based on non-standard dice, we aim to find probability of ruling a sum of seven. The number of favorable outcomes is six and we can likewise calculate the probability as shown here uh, by considering the total number of possible outcomes uh, and the number of favorable outcomes for a specific scenario we can calculate the probability of various outcomes when rolling two dice. Uh, uh, the, the value for each outcome for 11 scenarios is called convolution of probabilities of two fair or non-uniform dice. Here on, I'm going to provide a mathematical notation to this operation. 
Uh, convolution is a powerful operation in probability theory that allows us to analyze the combined effects of multiple random variables or probability distributions. The convolution represents the probability distribution of the sum of random variables x and y and mathematically is shown as follows. Uh, this equation states that to find the convolution of these two distributions for random variables x and y, we multiply the uh, probabilities of each possible outcome and sum them up for all possible combinations. Note that here two random variables are independent. Uh, furthermore, the indices on the right hand side of uh, this equation remind us to arrangement in our previous example for px plus y equal 7. Now Consider two random variables as shown by red and green tables here. Uh, we aim to review the procedures of convolution. Uh, we first flip the second random variable. It becomes uh, y3, y2, and y1. After flipping, we overlap the last element of y with the first element of x. There is only one overlap. And the convolution becomes the multiplication of x1 and y1. Now we shift the y towards the right, we get two overlaps. And the convolution becomes x1 multiply y2 plus x2 multiply y1. Uh, we continue the shifting. In this case, we have three overlaps, uh, which correspond to the indices x1, y3, x2, y2, x3, y1. The convolution is calculated by summing these products x1, y3, x2, y2, x3, y1. We continue shifting the vectors until we reach a single overlap where the convolution becomes x3 multiply y3. This represents the final result of the convolution. Uh, by treating x and y as vectors, we can easily perform uh, the convolution calculation uh, by multiplying the corresponding elements and summing them up. Uh, let's consider the example of estimating the convolution for different cases based on the given probability distribution. Uh, in this example, uh, we have 
two discrete points, zero and one, for each random variable. We have then four cases, uh, px plus y equals zero, px plus y equal one, px plus two equal two, px plus y equals three. Uh, for p x plus y equal zero, both x and y must be zero according to the formula. The probability is then uh, zero point twelve. For uh, p x plus one equals three, we consider two possibilities. X equals 0 and y equal 3 or x equal 1 y equal 2 we look at the probability table provided here uh, for x and y uh, and find that both cases have probability of zero. We can continue this for uh, the case px plus one equal one and px plus y equal two and results are given here.